Here's our next one. The question clearly reads, again, ignore everything else. Straight for the question sentence, we see that it says, hey, what is the area? What is the area of this shape? What is its area? Sounds good. Boom. Now, as always, area is a hyper-specific geometry word. So what we're going to do is look for the shape that we're dealing with, and it says a circle. So because of that, we are going to move forward and say that we're looking for the area of a circle, which is pi multiplied by the radius squared. One more time, everybody. What does the R stand for? One more time. Yes, the R stands for radius. So what we are going to plug in is the radius. Everybody, is that what we're given? Or do we have to do a little bit more work to find the radius in this problem? Yeah, we're given that. It's right there. Radius of eight meters. So this one is on the much, much, much easier side because yeah, we're given the radius clearly as eight. So we can just plug in that eight immediately and we're good. A equals pi times eight squared. Eight squared, remember that's the same as eight times eight and that's 64. So because of that, we can replace eight squared with 64. So we have pi times 64 or 64 pi. And there we are. Final answer is going to be 64 pi. Answer choice C. So with that said, everybody, the formulas, they're very clear. It says, and like, let's go ahead and go through it one more time, especially for those of us that were feeling a little overwhelmed. The formula says, Pi times R squared. R stands for radius. And what you want to ask yourself is, am I given the radius or am I given something else? Everybody, because it was clearly stated that the radius is eight, booyah, we're good. Now let's go ahead and remind ourselves that there's a difference between the circumference and the area formulas. For circumference, just remember, let me just go ahead and write it here. Your circumference formulas are these, two pi r or pi times d. For the area, we have area equals pi r squared. So feel free to have those written down for yourself. So that way we can keep practicing the right way. Remember the formulas, knowing the formulas makes a huge difference, but memorizing the formulas isn't the only thing. It's not the only thing you should do. It's understanding the pieces of the formulas so you know what to plug in. So with that, let's go ahead and keep it going here. Let's move on to the next one and keep having ourselves a good time.